Hey guys, Airtigus here, Air for short. I'm going to make a video on the Light Martial Cat. I just summoned her from a Light and Darkness scroll, made a video, and then didn't save it. So that was kind of dumb of me. But uh, either way, here she is. She's an attack type monster. And uh, she gets a bonus of 25% resistance when she's uh, awakened. And her skills are Energy Punch, attacks with a spinning punch, and stuns the enemy for one turn with a 25% chance. And as you can see, you can increase that to a 45% chance, which is pretty good for a stun. <clears throat> You've got counterattack. Increases the critical rate for two turns and counterattacks when attacked. The attack gauge is increased by 50%. I think the 50% attack gauge increase is kind of not great because you're basically applying buffs for her to be hit and you'll just be... It'll be less time with the actual counterattacks and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, I don't. I, but hey, more turns are always good, and maybe you can get that stun going. And then we've got lonely fight passive. If your HP status is lower than the enemies, your attacks will deal additional damage that is proportionate to your maximum HP. So it's kind of weird. She gets a bonus attack based on her maximum HP when she's an attack type monster. So that's kind of weird, but um, and it only takes effect if her HP is lower percentage-wise than the enemy that's attacking her, or that she's attacking. Sorry. So rune-wise, the the number one I believe is rage runes. You want to get rage on there, and then you can either do blade. Um, she does have a crit rate bonus, so, you know, if you can't get good crit rate substats, uh, blade runes for sure. And uh, so rage blade, or you could do rage focus, and that'll help that stun land, especially if she counterattacks, she can apply that stun. Um, you could also do rage nemesis, because I think she's going to be quite slow, so the lower her HP drops, the sooner her turn will be which is ideal when she's being attacked. So, Rage Nemesis is also useful. You could do Fatal if you don't have Rage Runes, but I think, ideally, you're going to do Attack Percentage on 2 and 6, and then you're going to do Crit Damage on 4. And I think that's probably the best way to use her, is to increase her critical damage as much as possible, and attack power. Now, substats-wise, you're looking at HP substats because she needs to take a hit. You're looking at crit rate substats because even though she gets a bonus, it's not a hundred percent crit rate that she'll have. It just it's an increased critical rate. So crit rate substats are useful, and um, accuracy substats are also very useful for that stun. Hmm. Yeah. So we've said rage, fatal. Despair would be useless on her because she already has a stun. Vampire runes, potentially, if you can get her attack damage high enough, then vampire runes could be quite nice. And she'll heal herself a bit with every attack. And that'll actually make her kind of a farming monster, to be, to be honest. I mean, she'll get a bonus um, attack power as her HP lowers, and then... She'll do more damage with her counterattack and potentially heal herself quite a bit with the Vamp Rune. So you could do Vamp Blade, Vamp Focus, Vamp Nemesis, and uh, I wouldn't give her Revenge Runes because she's already got a counterattack built into her skills. Making her fast with Swift, I mean, you could. Oh yeah, and uh, I don't think Violent is great for her either. This is a monster that relies on this counter-attack to be present. You could do Violent, but uh, she may end up just procking out of her own buffs. So, I don't know. Violent's usually good on any monster. You can do it if you want. I mean, more turns are always welcome. It's kind of the most useful buff you could get is an extra turn, to be honest. I still think Violent Runes are ridiculously overpowered. Yeah, so those are my suggestions with this monster. Leave any suggestions of your own in the comment section below if I didn't suggest something you think might work. 
Rage, Fatal, uh, Vampire, and then you can either pair them up with Blade, Nemesis, or Focus. You're looking for crit rate substats, HP substats, um, and accuracy substats. Till next time, peace.